Posh Nation. I'm Jessica Perrier, otherwise known as Jessica Posh. Raise your hand if you want to grow your business. Me, 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 me. I do. Pick me. Okay, great. Grab a notebook and a pen and get ready because I'm going to tell you exactly how you can grow your business. Almost 20 ways to be exact. Well, almost exact. Maybe even more if we get crazy. So grab that notebook and that pen and settle in. Oh, wait. One thing. There's one thing we need to cover first. I need you guys to make me a promise. Grab your nearest Big Fat Yummy hand cream and raise it with your left hand. Or your right, whatever. I promise, oh, and repeat after me. I promise to believe in myself. That's it. Not there yet? Then promise to fake believing in yourself. We have got to believe in ourselves to make things happen, okay? So promise that you're going to try your best and you're going to believe in yourself, okay? Let's go ahead and apply some hand cream first, actually. Let's do this. Okay, you got that notebook? Now write this down. My business is growing every day. Now pause this video and say that out loud three times. My business is growing every day. My business is growing every day. My business is growing every day. Write it down one more time. My business is growing every day. I believe in myself. My business is growing every day. Okay, now that we've got our minds right, let's do this. Now I'm going to give you guys some ideas that work in the world, like out in the world. And I'm going to give you some ideas that work on the internet, in the internet world. Whether you choose to work your business in the real world or on the internet world, or both, you can be successful. Every one of us grows our business so wildly differently. So I'm going to run through a ton of different ideas and places that you can find business. Pick and choose from these places, but take notes on each because you never know. Your business is going to da -da, da -da -da -da. <laughs> develop and grow every single day. It might even change a little bit as you grow. I joined Posh over six years ago, and when I first started, I ran my business in a very specific way. Over these past six years, it has evolved and changed a little bit. So again, after further ado, after no further ado, we're gonna get started. Facebook groups. When I first started in Posh, I was a member of quite a few different Facebook groups. Some of them were like makeup focused, other ones were focused about Vitamix owners. I had bought a Vitamix blender and so I was in a Vitamix group. Anyway, Facebook groups. You are a member of many different Facebook groups with different, um, with regard to different interests in your own life. Maybe you're a mom of multiples. Maybe you're a St. Bernard owner. Who knows? But there's a ton of different Facebook groups out there. And that is a place that you can find customers. No, you're not going to be annoying or spammy and go post free samples in your Facebook group, but you are going to be a participatory member, right? You get to know people. You might even meet new friends in a Facebook group. When you are an active member of a Facebook group community, it affords you a potential chance to make a suggestion regarding Posh or to invite one of your new friends from that group to try Posh. This is just something that is available to you while you're living your life, right? When you are, like I said, an active member of that community and somebody asks, hey, what do you guys use to clean your makeup brushes? You can easily suggest gender bender and not look like a salesy person because you're otherwise still an active member of that community and you just are finding a solution to somebody's need. Each one of us should have a VIP group. Even if you're brand new, create a private group on Facebook or a closed group on Facebook that is your VIP group. Call it something cool, like, um, you know, I don't, I don't even know the cool name. Call it something cool. You don't need to have 100 people in your VIP group. If you're brand new, maybe there's only five people to start. That's okay. Your VIP group is where you should collect quality individuals that want to support your business, that want to support you in your life, and that are willing to give Posh a try. Each time you send somebody samples, invite them to become a member of your VIP group. Let them know that's where you're going to keep everybody abreast on all things Posh your friends on your personal wall. By the way, I am covering the internet portion of my ideas first. <laughs> on your personal Facebook wall, that is a great place for you to advertise. Now, are you going to be posting stock graphics day in and day out on your personal Facebook wall? No, because that would be annoying. But when you go on a posh trip, I'm headed out to Miami this week for a platinum premiere retreat. 
I'm going to share that on my personal wall. And it's not fake or salesy. I'm sharing what I'm doing in my life, what something that's making me happy. If you hit a promotion with Perfectly Posh, or you win a contest with Perfectly Posh, or you reach a goal with Perfectly Posh, it's perfectly okay to shout that out on your personal page. It's not salesy. You're not posting on your personal page saying, join my team, buy my stuff. You're simply sharing a part of your life that's bringing you happiness. And oh, by the way, that might cause one or two of your friends to message you and be like, what's this perfectly posh stuff I see you posting about? And that's how the conversation gets started. Friends tagging you. When you do get started with your business, whether you're um, brand new or you're relaunching or you're just launching a new catalog, hello, rock your body, send, um, when you send samples, ask your friends to post a picture of it and tag you. When they are posting a picture, especially if it's a selfie and a face mask, or even just a picture of the happy mail that you sent to them, when they tag you, that is a direct advertisement to all of their friends on Facebook. Hey, this is my posh girl. You should check it out too. That's a great endorsement. Referrals are the best way for us to get customers, which is another idea in the real world, but referrals on Facebook work too online partying. Whether you call it a party, a soiree, a girls night, whatever you want to call it, doing an online party is a great way for you to find new business. When you have a hostess, whether it's a mystery hostess or you have one specific hostess, she's going to bring to you a gaggle of new people that maybe have never even tried posh before. Those are all potential customers. Get samples into their hands and follow up like it's your job because it is. Online shopping links, very similar to an online party, only you just, the whole party all together. You can tell your customer or potential customer, would you like to earn that BFF for free? I can create a shopping link for you to share with your friends. Tell them how much you love the BFF. If you get five people to purchase one, you will earn one for free. See what I did there? Fundraisers, fundraisers are an excellent way to get new customers, both online or in the real world. Fundraising opportunities are everywhere. You've just got to go out and find them. You could run a fundraiser however you want, whether it's a specific dollar amount per item sold, a specific percentage, you have the freedom to do so. And really, I should do a whole nother training video or somebody else should. If you're out there and you do fundraisers, do a training video for us because it's a really great way to boost your PV. If you're typically a $500 to $1,000 a monther, you do a $1,000 fundraiser one month, boom, you've just doubled um, your volume for that month. Okay, also, when you're getting started or you're relaunching your business, you want to have a Franks list. Franks is an acronym. Friends, relatives, associates, neighbors, people you know through your kids, and service providers. It's an acronym to kind of get your brain thinking, right? Okay, so when I joined Posh, I told my sponsor that I had no friends. I don't know who I'm gonna sell to because I don't have any friends. Obviously that wasn't true. I did have a couple of friends. But when I did the Franks list, it really helped to expand my mind to all of these people that I truly did know, but didn't necessarily think about right away. So use that Franks list to get your mind jogging. Try to make a list of 100 people that you know. Reach out to them. You are not a bother. You are not trying to sell them posh. You are sharing posh with them. Posh is making you happy. You are loving the products. You are loving the experience. It's perfectly acceptable for you want to want to share that with your friends and family. On that same note, there's also an acronym called ALICE. And I forgot to look it up what it stands for. So yeah. Ask your upline about that. ALICE is another acronym, just like Frank's, that's going to help you thinking outside the box to expand your list. Okay, we're gonna shift gears now to real world opportunities. And I say real world, like actually physically being in the world, which is something I try not to do a whole lot. <laughs> but when I do, I'm always prepared. Have ready to go sample packs. It doesn't have to be fancy. It's just a cute little bag, you know, like those little treat bags that people give away around Valentine's Day or whatever. You put a couple of samples, your business card, and that is ready to go. Whenever you have a chance to have a quality interaction in the world with somebody, I'm getting ahead of myself, quality interaction. Oh, hey, I love your mask. Oh, hey, I love your shoes. Oh, hey, oh, what kind of coffee is that? That looks delicious. Create opportunities to speak with someone. 
have a posh bag, have a posh shirt. I'm a woman that owns a business. Put it out there and you're inviting people to talk to you about your business. The more that you can scream posh without actually screaming, <laughs> the more people are going to be interested. So, oh yeah, so have sample packs ready to go because God forbid somebody asks you about your shirt. Oh, what business do you own? You can whip out a sample package and have one ready to go. And when you have them ready to go in your purse at all times, you're going to be a lot more brave and a lot more apt to offer it to somebody. How many times have I been out in public and not had a ready to go sample pack, but ran into a perfect opportunity to be able to posh somebody and gosh, I was so disappointed in myself when I got back to the car and I didn't have anything, not even a business card. So always be prepared. Airplanes. I have airplanes on my list, you guys, because Posh has taken me so many different places. I don't even know how many times I have gotten on an airplane for a Posh trip, but I do know that I have recruited three people in my six years from airplanes. <laughs> It's just so exciting. I always bring my posh catalog and I always bring some posh samples every time I fly. And I'm always flipping through my catalog as I apply my big fat yummy hand cream in my seat because never fail either a seat mate or a flight attendant or both ask me. And hello, you're on a plane. They have nowhere to go. So let me tell you a little bit about my business. And then when I talk to them about it like this, I'm so excited to share it with them. They feed off that energy. Excitement feeds excitement, right? People are going to be excited. So be prepared, have your catalogs, have your business cards, have your samples and your smile. Compliments, I kind of touched on this before. Compliments, when you compliment somebody, more often than not, that's going to start up a conversation. So oftentimes, whenever you're out and about in the world, give compliments like they're candy, but make sure that they're genuine because people can tell when you're being fake. When you go out to eat, tip big and include some samples, right? An extra $5 on a bill is not necessarily going to break your bank, but it's going to make all of the difference to that waiter or waitress and also include some samples and also be extra cheery and friendly to them during your service because that way you're opening up the opportunity for more conversation. I took some of these notes way back when, close to Halloween, when booing your neighbor was a thing. Why can't that be something all year long? You can boo your neighbor or surprise your neighbor or call it whatever you want and bring some Posh products over. Welcome to the neighborhood. Here's some, you know, hand creams and soaps. Nobody is ever mad at free stuff, you guys. The more that you can be known as that Posh lady, that Posh girl, the Posh crazy lady, the Poshpreneur, whatever you want to be called, the bigger and faster your business is going to grow. Donate Posh. Oftentimes, when I had first started my business, I would be asked, because I was trying to network different places with other businesses, to donate something for a secret, uh, a silent auction, or um, some kind of benefit, or something like that. Always and forever donate to that. What I like to do is donate a deluxe sample pack, maybe a big fat yummy hand cream, and then a gift certificate. And don't overthink it. A gift certificate is something you can print off your computer. On the back, you're going to mark redeemable only with Jessica Posh, your name, expiration, blah, blah, blah. That way, whoever wins or buys that gift certificate needs to contact you directly and you have a chance to upsell them beyond that gift certificate. If money is tight for you, do a deluxe sample packs, a deluxe sample pack and maybe a $20 gift certificate. It's great advertising for you. Vendor events, of course. Vendor events are a little few and far between these days, but they will be back one day. And don't overthink it. A vendor event can be a small table at um, a school function. It can be a large table at a wedding show. It can be at a gun show. It can be at a farm show. It can be at an auto show. Anywhere, any one of these shows, you can set up a table and you can share your products. Remember, Always have a smile because that makes you a lot more approachable. Bulletin boards. I remember many, 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 many moons ago using bulletin boards with those little um, pull tab flyers to grow my business way back when, when I sold Pampered Chef as a 19 year old. That was 20 years ago, almost 20 years ago basically 20 years ago. Anyway, bulletin boards, pull tabs, that's a form of advertising and that will work for your business. Mind you, when you're doing pull tabs on bulletin boards, you need to put up like 200 of them before you get one hit. 
It's a little more passive than actually speaking directly to people, but it's still a way to grow your business. Um, you can get in touch with a management office for an apartment building. Go introduce yourself and let them know you would love to be able to put together some welcome packs for their new tenants. It's a way to get your name out there. Think outside the box. The more of these ideas that you can put into action, the faster your business is going to start popping. Oh, actually, that's a really great analogy. That's going to be a short little tangent, but bear with me. <laughs> when you stick a bag of microwave popcorn in the microwave, right, and you set the timer, the microwave is doing all of the work for like at least 90 seconds and there's nothing. So if you equate that to your business and you're doing all of the work and the, the microwave is spinning and that bag is warming up, but you're staring at your business and just nothing is popping. Keep going. Keep that microwave going. Keep it spinning. La 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 la. Because another 60 seconds into the microwave, maybe another 30 days into your business. I haven't perfected this analogy. You're going to hear the pops and it's going to be like pop. the same thing with your business. You're going to get one sample request, another sample request, maybe a small order. Oh my God, I want to have a party. I want to do this. I have a vendor event. Blah, blah, blah. That is how your business grows. And then you just got to keep it going. Sorry about that tangent, but it is such a good analogy. Um, coworkers. So in the real world, if you work at a desk, you should have at least three big fat yummy hand creams on your desk at all times, assuming that you're allowed to have hand cream at your work. I mean, who knows? But if you're allowed to have hand cream at your work and you've got a collection of hand creams on your desk, it's just a matter of time before your coworkers stop by every now and again to have some hand cream. Oh, by the way, it's just a matter of time before they decide they need their own hand cream or two or three on their desk. It's how you grow your business. Okay, those are all the little notes I had here. Um, in, let me make sure I'm not missing any. Oh, you could set up um, a little section in a local business. So maybe your hairdresser lady or your nail lady or your local insurance office, who knows, has a shelf that they would be willing to dedicate to some posh. Don't overthink it. You don't need to put that whole catalog there. Have three of your top selling hand creams and um, one soap bar maybe, or maybe just a little collection um, thing for them to fill out. They want more information and some tester bottles. The more that you can advertise your business in different places, the better. In conclusion, the wider you can cast your net, the more fish you're going to catch. The more of these that I said before you can put into action, the faster your popcorn is going to start popping. You guys, business abounds everywhere. You can get on YouTube, you can get on Instagram. We didn't even get into social medias all that much. There's business everywhere. It's just a matter of you having that right mindset, right? I can do this. I believe in myself. My business is growing every single day. Look for those opportunities. Okay, one more quick analogy and then I'm going to let you go. I, uh, every Friday I go live with my team for Farm Friday, right? Because since I've experienced success with Posh, I've started a farm and now I have pigs and goats and chickens and guineas and it's crazy. But anyway, I, I teach them a lesson every Friday from my farm that applies to our business, okay? So every morning I go out, I collect my chicken and guinea eggs. And I've got this one spot that's super easy. It's got a little flip top door that I can access the inside nesting boxes of the coop from the outside. It's very comfortable for me. I flip that box open and there's a whole bunch of eggs. I collect them. Now that's very easy. That's like your easy customers that you get out of parties or that you get out of sample requests or whatnot. But there are more eggs on my farm to collect. And when I have to get a little bit dirty and I go inside to one of the chicken coops and I flip open this upside down box, there's always some eggs there, right? Because that one chicken likes the extra privacy, the extra one-on-one -on -one attention, if you will, that your customer, maybe some customers like to be talked to in PMs only, and they're not gonna participate in a party or reach out and ask you questions themselves. That's where I find those eggs. And then I go into another chicken coop where they used to lay their eggs and it's tucked underneath in the back part of there where I find another collection of eggs. And that's where those customers like to be accessed. And then I could hunt around my property all day, you guys, and guineas like guinea hens, they like to hide their eggs everywhere, in tall grass, under shrubs, in an empty tire, you name it. So the more that I go out and hunt on my property, the more eggs I find. 
And just like you in your business, the more of these that you put into action, the more you go hunting for customers, the more you're going to find them. Okay? And with that, I will leave you to go out and grow your business. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope that it was helpful. Please leave a comment down below or um, send me a message if you have any questions or feedback. And I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Good luck with the rest of your academy.